to avoid trouble. A coward is incapable of exhibiting love. It is the prerogative of the brave. A religion that takes no account of practical affairs does not help to solve them. It's no religion. Adaptability is not imitation. It means power of resistance and assimilation. Anger and intolerance are the twin enemies of correct understanding. You can chain me, you can torture me, you can even destroy this body, but you will never imprison my mind. Culture of the mind must be subservient to the heart. Let us hope that we can leave Atlantic City High School today and make this world a better place for tomorrow. Congratulations to the class of 2011. everybody. My name is Rod Alois and I'm the class of 2011 Salutatorian. I'd like to begin by welcoming the Board of Education, faculty, parents, family, and lastly but most importantly the class of 2011. Our four years here have drawn to a collective close. Most, if not all of you, have walked through the spacious halls of our high school for the last time. However, as we look to our futures, it is also important to review our past, to look fondly over those high school years, which I'm sure decades from now, many of us will view as the best of our lives. We, the class of 2011, have our own unique memories of high school, personal experiences, relationships, and so on. However, we also have collective experiences which lend themselves to the overall identity of our high school experience. We all remember the hectic nature of our freshman year, and every one of us at some point or another has noticed how our school has changed for the better. Throughout our high school career, we as students have watched what could be described as an evolution of our high school, an evolution that uncannily mirrors the growth and maturing that we as individuals have gone through in our last four years. We as individuals have gone from what could be described as frightened and disorganized on our first day of school almost four years ago to the young adults who stand before you today. We should be proud to have viewed the, the transformation of our high school as we too transformed into young adults. As adults, you must now follow your own path, whether it be into college, into the workforce, or otherwise. This school, whether you as an individual choose to believe it or not, has given us the tools necessary to succeed in life. We have learned valuable life lessons such as responsibility, we have matured into young adults, and most importantly, we have learned information that can be built upon in real life situations or in further study. And so I stand before you all today to urge you to use these lessons of responsibility, education, and maturity moving forward to whichever path you may choose to follow. Thank you. Hello, my name is Logan Chipkin and I am the class of 2011 valedictorian. Good morning, Board of Education, Administration, faculty, parents, and graduates of the Class of 2011. Let me begin by saying how honored I am to be standing here, speaking before colleagues, friends, and family of the Class of 2011. I could say a lot about this class. It's definitely an inventive one, as was seen when we held the first ever superlative night. Our class is also a proud one. I remember the day after Barack Obama was elected. Countless classmates wore shirts that expressed their pride in not only Obama, but in the progress that America had made towards social and cultural unity. And in a way, the class of 2011 represents exactly that. We have students from all corners of the globe. I can say with complete certainty that during the last four years, every student in this room has met someone who was totally different from them. At other schools, students who are different might be treated badly or with little respect 
but not at ACHS. Here, students don't care if you worship a different god or come from a faraway country. Students at Atlantic City High School understand that that's not what matters. People can say whatever they want about Atlantic City High School. As students, there is little we can do to stop newspapers from printing their negative articles, the media from giving us bad press, or nervous parents from forbidding their eighth grader from attending AC High next year. Well, I'm saying it now. This high school gives its student body tools that can't be taught in the classroom, and that certainly can't be taught at other er high schools in the area. After spending four years at ACHS, all graduating young adults in this room can deal with any social situation thrown at them. And although academics and education are certainly important, equally important in life are the skills needed to deal with all different people. My fellow graduates, this is my message to you. I challenge everyone in this room to pursue something you've always wanted to, but have never had time to do it. That's the problem with the high speed, instant access world of today. No one ever stops in the moment to breathe. It's always about what we're going to be doing, five minutes from now, an hour, a week. Before we know it, we'll be 80 years old, wondering what we did with our lives. Everyone is busier than ever, but here's the secret. That's not exactly true. It's not that the laundry list of tasks has gotten any longer. It's that, it's that the distractions have gotten more numerous, more immediate, and more accessible. Sure, each text takes only a few seconds, each tweet about a minute, each Facebook post an instant, but how many times a day do we find ourselves staring at a glowing screen typing away? How often do we log onto our computers to do endless hours of homework only to end up on Facebook? My point is this, try your best to live life in the real world and not so much in the digital one. My fellow classmates, My fellow classmates, I hope you enjoy life, no matter where it takes you. Be proud that you graduated from Atlantic City High School, home of the Vikings. Remember that we are one of a kind school. Best of luck to everyone, and thank you. Each time that I stand before the class that they walk in, it gives me a special pride to see these young people and to recognize the accomplishments that they have uh, made in their lives. But as proud as everyone is of you, of you today, there are a lot of people in this audience who've worked hard for many years, some good, some hard, to get to where you are. Please give them a round of applause. Administrative staff, um, hold your applause to uh, the last place, uh, Assistant Superintendent Sonata Hay and Barry Caldwell, Business Administrator Lisa Murray, and Supervisor of Human Resources, Ryan Stein. We are fortunate, as is the case almost every year, to have a second district superintendent. And today we want to recognize uh, Karen Damani, Superintendent of Veterans. We also have uh, two city officials that I would like to recognize at this time. A gentleman who is also a proud father, but the mayor of Atlantic City. Please welcome Mayor Lorenzo Ryan. <laughs> Likewise, a proud, proud father today. Please welcome the director of license and inspections, Anthony Cuts. I've learned something. And one of the things I learned is this. Today is about you. Today is about your family and friends. A day of celebration. So if I was to stand here and speak for 10 or 15 minutes, none of you would remember a thing that I said because this is your day. As you leave Atlantic City School District and you travel throughout the world, you're going to be representing all of us that are still back here. 
As you go through this work, please make us proud. Congratulations to this team. Wish you well. Good morning.